Hey guys, I am Davey Wavy, and I'm here with Sam Wiles. Hi. So a few months ago, I made a video which was tips for tops for opening up bottoms. Tips, tips for tops. Tops who sold seashells by the seashore. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we are going to do the reverse of that. It is tips for being a better bottom. And these aren't tips from you or me. They are tips from 700,000 people on my Facebook page. So here's our top 10, bottom versatile 10. Best 10, 10 like best. <laughs> Uh, number 10 comes from Michael Redacted. Find the position that's just right for you. Start with that. If your top prefers a different position, you can move on from there, but start by making sure you are comfortable. And that's important because I would say, like, if you're not comfortable when it starts to happen, like, you're just gonna want it to be over. So you kind of got to make sure that, like, you take the time at the start to make sure you're comfortable and that you're able to kind of... Right. Yes, and if the top has a position that they prefer, that's awesome, that's great, but like you have to start in what's comfortable for you because ultimately you are the one getting, getting a real. up your ass. Ah. <laughs> Tip number nine comes from James, uh, and this one's actually really important. Uh, releasing all guilt and toxic masculinity about bottoms being less than or not real men. Value yourself and don't accept less than what you want in the moment. Yes, queen, work and serve. I think this is really important because this is even something I've struggled with where, you know, bottoming and feeling like you're the 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 submissive one and, and having that make you kind of feel like less you're than less a man. Yeah. yeah. Whereas like I talk to straight buddies about butt sex and they are like I say to them, I'm like, it takes a real man to get railed. But the real question is, like, why does it even matter to be seen as a man? Like, why is that even yeah, important to you? Yeah, I think it's just a lot of, like, the heteronormative stuff that probably seeps in. That's Internalized homophobia, up, right? systematic. I didn't, didn't want to go there, <laughs> yeah. but if you think the person that you're bottoming for is going to be Preach like, girl. oh, this guy's a sissy because I'm f***ing him, it's like, then that's probably not a sexual experience <laughs> you want to be a part of. So tip number eight, this one comes from me, it is one wipe Charlie's. Today's video is sponsored by the Dollar Shave Club. I had no idea that the Dollar Shave Club had all this great grooming product. I did not either. Dollar Shave Club has toothpaste, body wash, hair styling products, and yes, one wipe Charlie's. These are for your butt, and I honestly just want to wipe this on my face because it smells so good. <laughs> it's everything you need to look, feel, and smell your best. It's the civilized way to wipe. And you know what? That is important to everyone. Tops, bottoms, Nobody First likes styles. bad hygiene. But in all seriousness, the quality of their products is amazing. It's it's best in class quality for less than best in class price. They're basically giving away their daily essential starter kit to new members for only $5, which is nuts. In your first box, you will receive their shave butter, body wash, and one wipe Charlie's butt wipes. You'll receive their executive razor, which includes their premium weighty handle and a full cassette of cartridges. After the first box, replacement cartridges are just a few bucks per month. This $5 offer is only available exclusively at dollarshaveclub.com forward slash Davey. That is dollarshaveclub.com forward slash Davey. Thank you. This is tip number seven. It comes from Tom. Um, a bottom is born, not made. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the encouragement, Tom. I can really honestly say it. I've I've heard it put quite that way. I have kind of realized as I've gotten older that this is sometimes a little bit true. Um, I, not to say that you can't become a good bottom, or you, not that you can't embrace it if you aren't naturally a bottom, but there are some guys who are just naturally have a propensity towards bottoming, whether it be the psychological yes. part of it or the physical side of it. I will say this that a bottom may be born, but a good bottom is made. Which that's, is exactly yeah, that's true. which is exactly why it's exactly why we're making this video. Right. That's the whole freaking point. Tip number six comes from Sean. Accidents happen. Forgive yourself and relax. Which he's referring to poop. Yeah. Like and and it does. And we could make a whole thing about douching and all that's important, but like if an accident does happen, if a guy that you're with, if a top does not forgive you and isn't and nice about dick. it, then he's not worth bottoming for in the first place. We've all been there. And I've had guys who are like, oh, butt sex is gross. Yeah, it is. But you take some steps to make sure that things yeah. are all right. But like, we're all only human. You can hop in the shower. Mm -hmm. You can maybe cuddle instead, make out, blow yeah. him. Like, yeah. come back, try, try it later. Put his dick in your mouth. No yeah. one will complain about that. Honestly. If you're putting two lanes of traffic in a one-way street, exactly. accidents happen. <laughs> beep, beep. Tip number five. Who's this one from? from? I actually know this guy. He's oh very sweet. He's so hot. He's 
super hot. Uh, his name's Davey Whitney. Hung like a horse. And he's sitting right here. It's, it's adequate. Um, <laughs> opening a bottom isn't about pressure applied by the top. It's about a bottom's ability to relax and open their butt. Ass. He said ass, but I said ass. Okay, so I stole this from Dan Savage. This was his tip. I think most people think that your ability to penetrate someone is from pushing on the hole, mm -hmm. and it's not. Nope. It's the bottom's ability to relax and open up. That's really what bottoming's about. Because there have been tops where they do try to just like rent, and I'm like, I don't know what you think you're doing here, but like, it's certainly not gonna work. It's like the harder you push, the more tensed up the person's gonna get. It has the opposite. If you push on it, the person's reaction is yep. to, to tense up. Well, because be that's... I'm really relaxed right now. Super relaxed. I hear like a soft... <laughs> uh, tip number four from Adam is become a top. I thought he was being a smartass. When he... I kind of thought he was too. But I think what he's talking about is role reversal because yeah. tops should bottom so they can understand what, Absolutely. Like what they're getting into and what they're asking at the bottom yeah. and what feels good. Yeah. I think he's saying like it's also smart as a bottom to try topping so mm. you can see what works and what doesn't and it can facilitate better communication. Because I've known some guys who are like, I'm top only and I'm like, congrats, but you're awful at it. I was also thinking like even to take a further step back, he might be saying that y you can top from the bottom. Like you, you can, can be, be a power bottom in control of your own destiny. Riding yeah. that dick into the sunset, ladies and gentlemen. Who doesn't love that? All right, tip number three from Terrence. Um, silicone lube makes all the difference, and a good silicone lube, do not cheap out. Especially with anal sex, I would say the water-based lube gets very sticky. Isn't one of them not good for condoms, though? Oil-based. Oil-based. I would also add to that that spit Tops like to think of it as lube, but it, it... Which, sometimes in a pinch, it has done the trick. Certain situations, we've all been there, it can be hot, but in general, spit is not lube. Yeah, and if, if you are someone who is not confident with bottoming yet, or it's something you're still getting into, absolutely use the best lube you can find, right. because that's going to make all the difference. But spit is pretty hot when that happens. It can be, yeah. 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 Tip number two uh, comes from Joel. Communicate if you want something the top isn't giving you. Don't just lay there and take it. Most tops want to know if they are pleasing you or hurting you. My favorite thing is look over my shoulder from Doggy and say, Long, slow strokes. I'm imagining you say it just like that, Joel. Uh, in a moany, husky voice, which she does. Okay, good. I nailed it. Oh, and also, and don't drink coffee the day you're going to bottom. So the coffee thing, I have had this confirmed from like multiple bottom sources. Absolutely. What was um, the other? What was the other? It was just communicate. I think that's very important too because. Uh, as I have talked guys who are just like silent and I'm like, are you enjoying this? And it's pro it's not hot for you like to be having sex with someone that's not like Absolutely fully not. into it. You well, want them to be 100% on board yeah. and so ex you know, express that. Because my main goal as a top is that like I want to make sure the bottom's enjoying himself and having fun and as a bottom for, like vice versa. So it's just about yeah. the communication. Okay, tip number one comes from, I want to say Dara? I always think it's helpful to take a big exhale as the eggplant emoji goes in, as it enables you to dilate the hole and practice lots of practice. So it's like the it's like the yoga thing. Like as you exhale, mm -hmm. your body relaxes and enables you to. That's good advice. Yeah. Oh, like deep breaths is huge help. It just it also helps you relax as a whole. As a whole. See what I did there? That wasn't even that intentional. That was clever. I swear. And the practice part. Practice makes perfect. Yeah. And so if someone does want to practice, just hit us up. So Sam, thank you for being here. I'm gonna put your Instagram information down below so Please people do. can check you out. Come also, make sure you go to dollarshaveclub.com forward slash Davey to get your $5 starter kit. Thanks guys so much for watching. What's going on? You can get your very own, very own one white Charlies. Yes, no more acts of treason no. on your butt. No. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching and as always, more.